know that the guy doesn't know how to talk to people. We know that the guy can't phrase anything. <laughs> I, I can care less about that because I've had I've had um, managers and directors who who didn't have degrees who couldn't talk, but they knew their craft. So here, here's my point. But this is the thing, though. We're not talking about managers and directors of maybe 50, 60 people. We're talking about the, the president, president of the United States. And, and we go back. Where people are hungry. People are missing. Oh, stop it. The, what do you mean? Don't stop it. You sound like what I've seen the Democrats. Instead of them having <laughs> having a serious argument, they want to talk about the grandmother who can't afford something. Okay, why are we qualifying this? Well, because you don't well, say well, George Bush when, when, when she needed. applied for the job and this grandmother applied. They didn't say we have grandmother applying for a job for the government. They use her name and they. they but my point is, they, these are all like you say. These are all base treats because what the Democrat Party needs to do because mm -hmm. they have their own fight coming. What, that, what's their fight? <laughs> the, that real left, that progressive wing, they just got we, started. We're not there yet. We're, we're not, not there, there yet. yet. No, we're not, we're not there saying. yet. But so we're talking still about now. the president, the president saying that basically, and I mean, and it's sad to hear you, you know, basically jump on that bandwagon and say, okay, jumping. you guys are collateral damage. I, you know, no, it no, is no. what it is. No. It, you know, beg or whatever. And again, now you're making Quita have to do whatever she has to do with Deacon. Okay. Jenkins, the, okay. you know, See, come on, but, man, you know. but here's my here's my point. Like I told you, when I mentioned the Obama shutdown, I was working for a federal contract. Right. We had to make provisions. We either had to take our leave, or we were placed on another team if we were part of the government at uh, the government entity that was shut down. That sounds like what about is in there? No, no, no. I'm telling you what I had to go through. Okay, but did you, did you eat? Did you get your money back? Yeah. yeah. Yeah, some of these people may not get their money back. But that's that's a flat out lie. Because but that's what, what we that's what, what we know is when they come back. Okay. See, this is different from getting a pink slip. Then you won't eat. Right. Okay, so let's but, not conflate the two and act like, oh, you know what? This is like it because we know it, it hasn't happened. Tell me when there was a shutdown and they came back and they did not get there. But regardless, again, it's still affecting people right well, now. Who says There's it's people, not affecting people. No, but you're saying that it doesn't matter. It's just I never they're, said that. You're I saying said they're it, collateral damage. I didn't say that. You're right. I said it's a necessary evil. Now, so to, hurt, to evil. hurt people? No, no, you can't put words in my What I say is, so let me tell you again okay. what and, I said. And it's and a necessary evil. Ladies and gentlemen, we're also... Uh, you don't we're, have to let, they know. We're seven, seven minutes in now. Well, they know that. The views of one of the hosts do not necessarily <laughs> reflect those of... <laughs> they, they know that. Little, but the Grown people know that. But no, seriously. So you saying necessary evil? It's a necessary evil. Is that an oxymoron? No. A necessary evil? Yeah. So when is it necessary to be evil? In this situation, when, when, when you don't have when, when you have a uh, when you have an agenda that's baseless, really, because you're trying to get political again, points. That, that that's your opinion of him. I, I, that's not my opinion of him. I mean, it's just what he's doing. Well, that's your opinion okay, of his agenda. Okay, let's move on. Let's move on. So now, you know, it's not a wall. It's a fence. It's a mm -hmm. shower curtain. What is it? Baby gate? What is it? But okay, but here's the thing. What is it? What, what does he really want? What I'm saying is, here is where you guys get caught up. And that's when I throw you up with the Democrats. Here's what you guys get caught up. Listen what he said. Who cares about what we know he plays on words. And what he likes to do is get you guys all in a tizzy. All I, I, in a tizzy. You did it on the campaign trail. Oh, he's done now. He talking about little Marco Han. He's done now. He he called her fat. And that's why I'm going to eat you alive he, about he that. I'm going to eat you alive when we start okay. talking about the, okay, the riled up Democrats. Here, go ahead. Here's, here's my point. Here's my point. What, what does it matter if he calls it a, a wall or a strike or wh why do you guys get caught up in that well because those those words are the semantics actually matter i mean they, they if i called it a fence happen? and you called it a wall are you hurt come on are you are, are no you it's not that's not what guy? i'm saying but what he's doing is he's trying to shift uh he's, re he's receiving pressure from the gop right now they're telling him look you can't continue to do this because now their constituents are coming to them saying hey you got to do something talk to the guy L listen okay at least say these are my opinions because I am a GOP member and I'm okay with if, if because hey, we saw this coming. The only reason the Democrats are doing it because they have control of the House. If we had Republicans with a backbone, this wouldn't be an issue. If we had some of those same, if we had the backbone of some of those same Democrats who were in your boy's administration and before he went into the, right, before he went into a lame duck session, they pushed that through. They pushed the don't ask, don't tell, fail. They didn't, they didn't protect DOMA and they pushed a lot of other things through. And before, they also stopped a lot of things too, like the, a judge being being uh, appointed to. Who? The you Democrats? Guys, you guys. Yeah. 
Yeah. yeah, but you guys did had you guys too early uh, early on. I mean, you guys had yours. Well, anyway, everyone, I want you to remember this when it, when it comes time to vote too. Okay, but anyway, no, we get from no, the no, 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 we, we, we got one more. We got one more. Again, the TSA agents. We'll talk about them too. Call in and say, yeah, yeah. So I mean, again, it's not affecting anybody. It's not. It, how can you be? So are you the type of guy that goes to war and then cry about people getting shot and dying? But this is. This is not a war. This is American people, American citizens. We're in the situation. Are you a patriot? American? Are you a patriot? I am, a patriot? and I serve my so, country with honor. Okay, well, do you, I, really do you understand what patriotism really is? I understand. Do you understand what patriotism really is to me? Okay, patriotism means I care for my fellow American citizen, even if his interests don't coincide with mine. I care. So what? I, what I'm saying for is his basic well-being. So what I'm saying is you don't do anything contrary to somebody's. Will you don't do anything contrary to your will if it needs to be done? No, I'm not saying that, but well, that's I, I'm saying, saying, no, saying no, it's not. No, I am saying in a situation where I see that my fellow man is hurting from my actions, I'm going to take a different course. That's me. That's, well, that's me. you. But I mean, I know the that's GOP. Fine. That's fine. What, what's, and what's somebody, okay with that? somebody call in and give me an acronym for the go to hell party. <laughs> what is that? <laughs> hey, 813-444-9588. 813-444-9588. Let's jump into our next our next topic. Um, how much time we got, DJ, CEO? Not long. Well, you know what? We're going to tease it up. We're going to call that one. Damn, damn, damn. Every, hey, mama, I ain't cursing. That was just, I just read what was on the paper here. But, hey, everybody cursing and going on yesterday, and everybody's mad, riled up. Mr. Trump comes in, 15-minute tirade out here. He's profanity-laced, and then he's upset with the young lady, uh, new representative Tlaib, for, you know, so, now, and so I, don't, I don't agree with that. I, okay. I don't agree with that. One more minute. We got one more minute? Oh, okay. All right, we're going to do it right now. Look, everyone, phone number is 813-444-9588, 813-444-9588. We're going to talk about all this cursing when we come back after the break. We're going straight up the middle. Views and opinions expressed on this show are those of the host, guests, and callers who are responsible for their content and do not reflect the opinions of NTouch Radio or its staff. Hey, this is Dr. V, and you're listening to NTouch Radio, reality radio where everyone's a star. Don't you move. <laughs> So believe we hunted down 813 248 6300. Everything gon' be okay, Car Ricky, he coming. He taking care of skin of Florida, grab a pin of sun down 184 361 Rick. That's 184 361 425. Never word from the point four, just recline. Just ask Ricky, push your boy, stay wide. Just in case you missed it, I'ma tell you one more time 184 361 Rick. Call Ricky, ask Ricky, the legal medical referral service. The doctors and lawyers are not network are trained in handling auto injury claims, giving you the best medical treatment and recovery. Now, 1 361 Rick. That's 1 844 361 7425. Ricky, 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 Ricky. Ask Ricky, Ricky. Hey, this is Miss K with Faye's Kitchen, cooking Chicago style fried chicken and fish with the authentic Chicago style mouth sauce. Come check us out at 5508 North 50th Street in Tampa. We're open Wednesday through Saturday from 12 to 6, or you can call us at 813-368-5196. Again, that number is 813-368-5196. See you soon. In Touch Radio, Reality Radio, where everyone's a star. Be on Straight Up the Middle. Back from our break, phone numbers 813-444-9588, 813-444-9588, and we're going to go back to our section. Yeah. Damn, 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 all this cursing going on. Okay. Or, or what, what are we going to call it? The cursing congresswoman or hypocrisy? <laughs> what are we going to call it? But here, here Fox mad because she, but they said Donald Trump, when they opened up the meeting yesterday, it was 15 minutes of him going off, just using all kinds but see, of. See, that's what he does. We expect that of Donald Trump. Well, who so, was so guys, Fox every, so upset. every week oh, no, we come on this show and you say she's, something. She's uh, dishonored that herself. I don't understand why she's even a congressional that's what representative, he does. right? That's what he does. Oh, 
uh, technical difficulties. I is an IT <laughs> <Right>. person. <Yeah. laughs> but that's what he does. You, you notice that she's a great woman. He's a magnificent man because he only uses general. Right, adjectives. right, um, right. Fabulous. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> totally. All, until, all the time totally. Right. Until you say something about him. And right. then he's going in. Right. That's just what he does. Right. And, you know, and what I'm saying, and this is what I, I keep getting back to, um, you know, it does nothing for any kind of deliberations or negotiations between the parties. It doesn't. I mean, people go to their corners when you're extreme like that, when you're, you know, everything everybody else does is extreme this way or it's terrible. It's, it's the worst he's ever seen, that kind of thing. It, it does nothing for bringing anybody together and then helping with governance. That's, well, that's what I'm saying. Well, I think Nancy Pelosi set the stage in her accepting the gavel. I mean, she set the stage, and and if and if you didn't see her just trying, she was just I was rushing in the time. Now, I had this gavel back; it's about to be on. I need to play to my base because I know they don't really like this guy. But I'm going to try to moderate a bit differently. But I have to give my left base who who don't favor me. I need which to was give 15 them people, which was 15 people 18. who were really 18. Okay, 18, which okay. is really inconsequential. Really. Okay, it's inconsequential really. yeah. until they start make until they start making the same argument. But you mm-hmm. know what? We're not going to impeach him. We're not going to impeach him. We know that. We know that. Well, we don't know that, but we'll we'll talk about that too. But okay, but see, and that's a part of her agenda because not what's the guy's name? Um, Representative Sherman. He's already introduced articles of impeachment. Mm-hmm. Second, that come on, he's already done it. But here's here's the thing: we know what it boils down to. Impeachment are just charges, right? Well, no, I, I think actually we have to wait and see what the Mueller probe is actually going to bring about. That's and, not and, what we're and, talking about here. Yeah. They've already introduced it. Yeah, and, and and that's the thing I'm saying. Like Nancy Pelosi said, it's not it's not productive for us to be doing this at this point. It's you keep saying not. what they say, and this is what I say about Trump. Don't tell me what, I don't care what he says, and you tell me what Nancy Pelosi said. I'm right. telling you what they are doing. That's Sherman. That's Sherman. He's a, That's he, Sherman, and he's trying, yes he is. He's trying to get a contingency. This is her, you think she didn't know that? If you think she didn't know that, then you were just like, what, what's well, the lady on, on the, uh, who didn't know? No, no, no. I'm not saying she didn't know that, but what she did, though, was she knew it, but she was strong enough uh, with the party as to where she still got elected, and she's been able to tamp it down. Donald she's Trump said she made the money, because she pulls in the money. She, hey, she, you know what? Donald Trump did the same thing. Right. All right, then. So I'm not going to. But you're not I'm raving not, about how good Donald Trump is, and he oh, did the horrible. same thing. He's horrible. Right. He's but you're saying horrible. that's good. And, you know, Nancy's good. And, and that's one of the reasons well, why well, they don't but, push back against you. No, because she played you guys like a fiddle this week. Oh, Nancy, Nancy, Nancy Pelosi looks like the adult in D.C. right now. I, I, she does. Here's the thing. She does. I mean, did she's you not dance, think that she's we didn't know she, That's the only hand she had. What was she going to come in and do? She's dancing around him as a politician. What was she going to come in and do? She's dancing around him right now. And she's she, doing you know, what politicians do. Well, look, and I'm going to tell you this. Nancy ain't your problem. Ooh. Nancy ain't your problem. Who's the problem? Maxine Waters is going to be a problem. Because she wants, she, her, she wants 10 years of taxes. Mm-hmm. 10 years. So when you guys, when he pulls back the curtain and you find out he only got $20, and that's from the overdraft protection, <laughs> <laughs> what you going to do then? <laughs> yeah, all, still, all that's fun and joke. State? All that's fun and joke. Is he, and this still is your what great you think is commander going to happen. Chief? And this is what you think is going to so happen. So, do you right? think we're going to pull back the curtain and we're going to find ten billion dollars? I don't think. So is that what I, you, no, 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 what you no, no, think? No. The, the great First deal of all, maker. I, I don't think she's going to get them. I don't think she's going to get them. Am I, and, and you know what? I'm going to ask you this too. So, why can he not release his taxes? Why should he not? I, I don't. I think he should. Okay. But, okay. But All right. Does we see that? Look, look there. Look, this is the great negotiator, y'all. I got us to some consensus on hmm. one item. Oh yeah, you should ask me that question, but I would say that. Okay. My point is, I'm not here to debate how Donald Trump thinks or what Donald Trump says. Donald Trump gave me the things that he said he was going to give us, and we had this conversation before. So, you know before. what? And, and this is what we were talking about too. That sounds like some foxisms because I, I watched Sean Hannity the other night. Man, that was the biggest. We got a call coming in. The, the biggest crock of. Okay. I don't watch them. I'm not going to use that. In Touch Radio, you're on. Uh, who's who's the caller this morning? Is that Carl? Good morning. This is Carl. I How thought it was. Doing? I thought it was. How you doing, Carl? I'm doing good. City Carl, you got, the, He's taking a, you got the two live crew this morning. The two live crew, yeah. The yeah, trainer, yeah. yeah. So I don't want to hear playing hooky. All respect, all respect to uh, Luther Campbell. 
<laughs> yeah, you uh, you, you took that right out of my out of my thought. Maxine Water is uh, Maxine Water is gunning for Trump. Right, right. And, she is. And she's gunning for she, she, she's gunning for Trump and whatever. And I think if uh, you know, with uh, uh, Nancy Pelosi, she play her cards right or whatever, she will get all these uh, indictments and all these investigation pulls. Uh, uh, they'll come to a head. Right, right. And that's what I think so, she's she's gunning for right now. She's you know, they're playing checkers. Uh, the GOP right. is playing checkers, and they're trying to play save their skin. And they're in a bad situation because the person that they're trying to protect is not cooperating with them. That, that's where we are right now. And, and, and this and this wall really don't provide any any protection for uh, immigration. Uh, I think I read something with Jared Kushner. He was trying to open up immigration for some country. I, I don't know exactly what country that was. Mm-hmm. They're trying to open up immigration for them. So that wall has nothing to do with uh, the immigration around the border or whatever. That's it, a it, good it point, Carl. Feel... That's a real good right. point, brother, because um, what we found out is that it's not the those coming from South America or Mexico. It's those that get here and overstay their visas. But we know that. 22 million of them. What are you oh, talking about? So That's why don't we build old. a wall in the Pacific? We're <laughs> <laughs> done with Carl. We're done with Carl. <laughs> hey, Carl, appreciate you, man. We'll talk to you next week. Let's talk about All that right, because I, yeah. I went and got some numbers because I, I don't like repeating stuff or okay. saying stuff that I heard. Come on. So here's what caught me off guard. And we know about the OTMs other than Mexican. Right. But when you look at the the immigration and the countries on this at-risk at, at risk list, Cuba, not Cuba, I'm sorry, uh, China mm-hmm. and Cuba, right. Right. 22%. Right. Have come from there, mm-hmm. and so my my thought is, so why is China, the focus? China's familiar, but here's the other thing. Well, let's not get away from what happened as far as the what three hundred uh, illegal immigrants trying to rush the border and they had to use tear gas. But last week, three hundred, yeah, it's like three hundred. Okay, but here's my point. You act like the border doesn't work when you have people who work the border say we want the fence now you're trying to impose your will from sitting all the way here in tampa in this luxe environment you're trying to tell a border agent what he needs to do his job and he's saying i'm not telling him how to do his job i'm just but saying you're telling that, me what no, he no, thinks no, about I'm, his job is no, wrong no i'm not telling you that at all what i'm telling you is that the basis that the president is using for the wall being built is not so, substantial it should be directed at other places that, that equates to the president said it wrong because he said it wrong. He shouldn't get it. No, 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 no. It's not. It's not that he said it wrong. It, it's not. Substan- it's not true. It's not true. But That's what it, it is. But if, if so we say if, that, if we're saying that, want it. we're saying that the Chinese uh, are Asians. I should say the Asians and the Cubans are the ones that are violating uh, immigration laws. Why are we not focused on them? Why are we focused on Mexico? The Washington Post, because see, you have to argue uh, Democrats and independents apparently with, with with facts. So the Washington Post, who's not a big fan of, of Trump, give me, your, give me okay. your stuff so I can eat it up. No, no, no. Okay, so here it is. Uh, while unlawful entry is at near all time lows, there has mm-hmm. been a surge in family units. So they call that FAMU. I'm like, oh, that's okay. kind of odd. Okay, particularly from the Northern Triangle uh, countries, Honduras, Guatemala, and El Salvador, right? Attempting to enter. Okay. okay, so there were 39,839 in 2015. So now when we go down and we talk about the spike, they're saying that, wait a minute, in addition to those years. Um, you still not answering my question, though. What, what was the question? The question is, why are we not focused on Asians? Why is it, why is it Mexico? Because that's your boogeyman. That's your boogeyman. Even though El Chapo has been running drugs underground for 20 years. Right. You know, why we so not- are you saying, here's the answer to this. Do the fence and do it.